Welcome back for a segment we call Art Works. The way we build our homes, businesses, and other buildings is the subject of a new exhibit at the MSU Museum. Our Keaton Franklin has the story of the art of domecology. <laughs> Abandonment is not a natural phenomenon. It happens because we allow it to happen. A new exhibit at the MSU Museum is highlighting the growing field of domecology. Coined by MSU's own Rex Lamore, domecology studies the life cycle of man-made structures, considering the ways we design the construction and deconstruction of buildings in order to utilize the materials used. I visited the museum to speak with Rex and learn more. Most structures that we build in the world have, an, have a predictable end of life and that we need to maximize the salvage of those materials to the extent that we can and minimize the waste of those materials in landfills where most of it is going now. He proposes that recognizing the temporary nature of our built environment may allow us to reconsider all of the materials we use in our lives and their potential for reuse. Finding alternative ways to move us to a more circular economy, a more sustainable and just economy. The exhibit contains plenty of information on domecology, as well as hands-on activities used to demonstrate what it's like to build and reassemble structures. Why does this phenomenon of structural abandonment occur, and what can we do to change that paradigm so that we no longer leave these blighted structures on communities which have significant environmental, social, and economic impacts on those communities to change our current linear paradigm of take, make, waste to a more circular paradigm, take, make, reuse, salvage, repurpose, make, and start all over again. Other topics explored within domecology and the exhibit are potential public policy and economic opportunities resulting from the pursuit of this shift towards sustainability. And that's what helps us survive as a species. We learn, we, we behave differently, and we act differently.